This is Dan from The Verge, and I'm taking a look at the new Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge from Samsung. Uh, these are Samsung's flagship phones for this year, and they're very similar in looks and feel to last year's S6 and S6 Edge, but there are some key differences that uh, Samsung's really improved in a number of ways. For one, the S7 is a 5.1 inch display, so it's the same size as last year, but the back has been curved, so it's a, a little bit more comfortable to hold, very similar to the, the Note 5's design there. Uh, but the bigger change is with the S7 Edge. It's now a 5.5 inch screen. It still has that dual curved edge display, but the back has a slight curve to it as well to make it more comfortable to hold and easier to pick up off a table. The bigger screen is still in a compact size. You can see there's a pretty small phone. It's not much bigger than the 5.1 inch S7. Uh, it's significantly smaller than other phones with 5.5 inch screens like the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, and it makes it a lot easier to use in one hand and to slip in and out of your pocket and yet still gives you a really big display. Uh, the display itself is obviously Samsung Super AMOLED technology. It's got a QHD resolution. You can see here on the back, the camera has been trimmed down a lot, so it's not doesn't stick out as much as it used to. It's a 12 megapixel camera this year, uh, so it's a new sensor, and Samsung says that the autofocus system has been greatly improved, as well as low light capture. It's a brighter lens, uh, larger pixels for better low light capabilities. Uh, and then a lot of the other details are very similar uh, to last year's phones. However, the big change here is obviously you can now put a micro SD card slot in, and these new phones are now also water resistant uh, up to one and a half meters for 30 minutes. So those are two big changes from last year's phone. Uh, inside, uh, the devices that will be sold here in the US are gonna be running Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, whereas Samsung will use its own Exynos processor elsewhere. Uh, it's obviously a very high-end, fast processor. Everything here is gonna run really fast and quick. It's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's got Samsung's TouchWiz skin on top of it. It of course supports Samsung Pay, quick charge or fast charging, wireless fast charging, all of those features that have become kind of standard on Samsung devices. Uh, the one thing that's been updated for the S7 Edge is the new Edge panel here. It's larger, you can see more detail, you can uh, get more information, you can add more shortcuts to apps, you can add direct shortcuts for uh, various activities like taking a selfie. Uh, there's a bit more customization there as well. The other, one other feature that Samsung's added is a new always on display, so you can see the time uh, and date and you can set a picture or a clock or notifications uh, here that will always be accessible uh, on the screen itself. It's not a wake up or anything like that, it's just always on the screen. Uh, Samsung says that the S7 and S7 Edge will be available on all carriers here in the US and you can expect them to hit stores on March 11th and the pricing should be roughly about the same as last year's. That's it for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. For more, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.